in the morning you get up, sit. Just that, you know, and just pay attention to what is. Just pay attention to your being before you go out and touch the world. Already your mind is touching the world inside your own room, in the form of thoughts and feelings and judgments and plans and projections and so on. So sit quietly, no, and just notice. See if you can discern the difference between the mind energy and beingness. Because always beingness is there first. You cannot have mind energy without consciousness. Beingness and consciousness, same thing. No? So you sit quietly. Don't try to stop the mind or to to stop thinking. Notice first. And that's a very neutral attitude. You stay put, you observe, just be observing and say, ah. Oh, you can feel so much. No? So don't get entangled in that. Don't log into it. Just notice that. But also notice the space which we don't notice. Often we don't notice it. Nobody takes a, 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 any pay attention to that. And yet that space is there before any noise comes. And it's there during the noise, and it's there after the noise. Nothing has happened to it. So I say pay attention. Just by just, yeah? don't create anything. Just simple, sober attention, look. and then you start to see uh, the mind is all the things, and it's almost always personal. I've got to do this and this thing, and oh no, 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 cha, 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 cha. It's always personal. So that's the mind stuff. The beingness is not personal. It's like space and silence and peace and presence. Just presence. In one word, I can say. Just presence, impersonal presence, impartial presence. Sit with that and be one with just the presence. Stay with the presence, because that is the ground. The mind is like a ship without an anchor <laughs> in a storm. It is all over. But uh, the presence is like the root. It's an anchor. I cannot call it anchor because it's a s- anchor is a small thing. Presence is everywhere. And stay with that and clarify your being. Just by paying attention to that, and see that it is not a waiting state. Beingness is not waiting for the mind to relax. It is just it's constant it's there, relative to the mind. It's constant state, and just by sitting like that, and with that distinction between mind and presence, and see, then you don't have to try and control the mind. Just by being presence, being one with the presence, the mind stuff becomes very weak, meaningless. If you stay as the person who is the what you may call the mm, uh, the kind of daily self, if you stay as the as the person, then that's is that's the one that the mind is relating with a lot. But if you stay as presence, even that's going there, it's nothing at all. Because that will change. It's always changing. I always new actors on that stage. But the self being self aware, uh, this is beautiful. And if you do this, even if you do ten minutes and so, like that, uh, you're gonna like it so much because you're experiencing the peace that is naturally yourself. So you just pay attention to that, even if you do it for a short time. But do it completely. That you come to a point where you see that okay, you know, would you say don't uh, don't get entangled in the mind stuff. It's difficult because they are very familiar. Mm-hmm. It's like old friends come to the house, no, and uh, you're not to answer. I said yes, you're not to answer because although they're old friends, they are stale friends. They're not good friends. Uh, don't accept something only because of. Familiarity, no? so it's come and you know the scenario that happens. The minute you engage from the personal standpoint, it's very difficult to to pull away from it. No? But you exercise your discernment, your looking. And this is not something you have to create because that is a fact already. It's just it's a fact unnoticed. Now you must notice the fact that when you think of yourself as I, very quickly. Uh, the mind is taking claim for this I. We say I. We all almost always are thinking I person am. 
I person am. Not the words, but actually what they mean. You think we think of ourselves as person. You open your door to leave your room as person. So obviously, if you go out as person, you're going to meet a world of persons, and you're going to interrelate as person to person. You leave your room as presence. Leave the room as presence. This little you can do, and it doesn't take that much time. And gradually, as you 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 keep at it, you see that it becomes natural. It's not that you have to practice to be yourself, but you have to practice to be yourself. You see, yourself is there. Our true self is here, because even the false selves cannot appear without the true self. It is here. But because of the reflex to begin from the place of personhood, you see, it's like you're here. But you're living as though you're there, and you're meeting the world as there. So this is why I say, you, this is the mask of what you are, you know, and uh, you're, you're you're dealing with the world. But you're actually yourself is here, and you're living as the mask, unaware of yourself. It's that is the the main most important thing to recognize. It is the most important. If you are just snipering the little troubles that come here, and then pow, you know, pow, you know, pow, you are going to have a, to connect with a good uh, bullet store, because it is going to keep coming more and more things. Or if you go out fishing with one, one string and a hook, you might catch a fish now and again. But what I am sharing with you is like fishing with a huge net. That covers the whole ocean, actually. And why do I say that? You have to find the one that is the cause of this world and this worldly person and identity. You have to find it. And why? How you can know him? Because he also goes by the name of I. That's one of the great paradoxes. No? Because I say, uh, I is the first to appear. I is the first in any language. You know, the the intuition, the sense I am, appears first. Only then you can see other, or this and that, because I is the subject for the experiencing, the sense I. But we must understand what the I mean, because as I said before, God says I am. But the ego also say, I am. And even the devil say, I am. So is it the same? You must see the difference. The person sense, I am, you see, is the root cause. I am meaning I am I am the body. You don't remember saying that, but instinctively we relate. If you see this body, I am this one, this is me. I am the body, then I am the my conditioning. Then other conditioning can come, and that's where the person is born. The person is not born at the birth of the body. The person is born when the belief "I am the body" and "I am my conditioning." When that is born, the person come. But the person come before the person consciousness is there. Is that saying too many things? No. So. As you begin to break the reflex energy, which is immediately you start to think in the I am the person um, mode, then you can continue all day thinking I am the person mode, trying to sort out all the problems of the I am the person, I am the body mode. But so this is why I said in the morning when you get up, sit for a little bit in, in silence. And watch, 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 watch your sense of self, which means your mind, and the sense of being, and discern the difference. Mind will be chut 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 chut, and some personal quality. Beingness is impersonal. The beingness is like space, inside and outside. It's like space. Uh, mind is like person, 
because it comes with the noise and intention and emotion and plans and attachments and desires, all of that history. So you're aware of the noise of it. No? So this time, don't just link up. You know? Be aware of it only. Because if you link up, you're going to say, please help me to get rid of it. No, just being aware is enough. Be aware, no? And be aware at the same time of the space of being, the place of presence. And you will see the presence is stillness, the mind is movement, remain in the stillness. You see? You don't have to become something. It's there already. And you're watching you're already watching from stillness. So when I say be zero, zero means emptiness. The self. Stay like this. And if you sit like this for five, seven minutes, ten minutes if you want, it's gonna be the best ten minutes you're gonna spend. <laughs>